Have you ever wondered how a single war could dramatically reshape the balance of power in Europe and lay the groundwork for colonial empires? The War of the Spanish Succession and the subsequent Treaty of Utrecht did just that. In the late 17th century, Europe was a powder keg. The death of Charles II of Spain in 1700 set the fuse alight. Charles left his entire estate to Philip of Anjou, a grandson of Louis XIV of France, sparking a succession crisis. Fear gripped the European powers. A union of France and Spain under one monarch could create an unstoppable force. To prevent this, England, the Dutch Republic and Austria formed a grand alliance in 1701 to challenge Philip's claim to the Spanish throne. Thus began the War of the Spanish Succession, a series of bloody conflicts spanning more than a decade. Battles raged across Europe, from the Iberian Peninsula to the Netherlands, the Italian territories, and even the high seas. The war was not just about the Spanish throne, but about the balance of power in Europe. In 1713, after 12 years of fierce fighting, fatigue set in. The war was costly, both in terms of lives and resources. The belligerents needed a way out. The answer came in the form of a series of peace treaties, collectively known as the Treaty of Utrecht. Negotiations were complex and protracted, involving multiple nations and numerous interests. But by 1714, the main treaties were signed. Philip was recognized as King of Spain, but had to renounce any claim to the French throne, preventing a union of the two nations. Spain ceded numerous territories, including Gibraltar and Menorca to Britain, which also received the exclusive right to slave trade with Spanish America, known as the Asiento. The Treaty of Utrecht reshaped the map of Europe and the world. It marked the rise of Britain as a global power and set the stage for its colonial empire. It also established a new balance of power in Europe with the principle that no single nation should become too strong. To recap, the War of the Spanish Succession was sparked by a succession crisis following the death of Charles II of Spain. The war was a struggle for power among Europe's major powers, seeking to prevent a union of France and Spain. After over a decade of fighting, the Treaty of Utrecht was signed, ending the war and reshaping the geopolitical landscape. The Treaty of Utrecht, a pivotal moment in history, reminds us that the course of history can hinge on a single event, like the death of a king, and the decisions made in the aftermath. It's a testament to the intricate dance of power, politics, and diplomacy that continues to shape our world today. And with that, we conclude our exploration of the War of the Spanish Succession and the Treaty of Utrecht. Remember, history is not just about the past, but a guide to understanding the present and anticipating the future. Thanks for joining on this historical journey, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, keep asking questions and stay curious.